All right, so just came back from um, West Coast of Florida. Did a little vacay out there. But basically, I ordered that, you know, counter shot bearing. Like a dummy, the one that came was the rear, not the front. So it, it doesn't work. So anyways, I went and I'm like, you know what, let me try this thing out. So I ended up putting it on there and greasing it up and turning it. And I don't hear that vibration. So I don't know, you know, me put, packing it with some grease. You know helped it out that possibly um the oil might have been low or maybe the way that the car is sitting um that you know like let's say from the side it's not level or maybe kind of tilting in the front for oil to get to that so after i get on that car i'm gonna have to kind of inspect that and make sure that i have like the transmission um i don't know maybe sitting a little bit forward to the front for a tilt i don't know i gotta i gotta go but anyhow i'm gonna go ahead and put that back on because i'm tired of waiting um so i'm about to spray that gasket and put on that front plate and marry everything um i don't know if you guys probably saw this did my pulley one of the belts came but it's i don't know that's a different story but in here yeah so here goes um boys uh what do you call it ka 10.2 to 1 compression pistons, fully studded out, powder rods, Wesco pistons, 10.2 um, to 1 compression. I think I may have said that. Uh, the only thing, these damn machine shop, they didn't change out the rear pilot bushing, nor did they put on the um, rear main seal because they said that they needed the special alignment tool to put on the rear main seal. I was kind of there. I, I didn't even want to talk to these guys. They're fucking some clowns, if you know, whatever. But anyhow. Um, just need to basically get his oil pan or get an oil pan and tap it for a drain. And then um, we should be good. I think with his drain, what I'm going to end up doing, because on mine, I just had one coming out straight. I'm going to get a, um, like a 45. So it'll come like weld there and then go to, you know, whatever. Or, I don't know. I kind of forget what, but I kind of like the 45 because then I'll give... It a little bit more room above the oil so um oil can drain good although i never had a problem um but it's just you know one of those ways where you think you know you can just definitely better but can't wait to see that going in but right now it's all about this getting her um squared away i need to put this back i was trying to do some welding on a pontoon boat fucking crazy i'll put a clip on there but uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and put that on and then I want to fucking turn that pour around and s slide that transmission into her and get her all lined, you know, bolted up so I can feel happy for this week and feel feel accomplished. Um, that's about it. And then just one last other thing. I don't know what I'm going to do about this <sighs> return line. Um, unless maybe... <gasps> oh... I don't know. It's a thought. It's a thought. But basically, that so that is my oil pressure sending. That's the oil temp. So maybe on the oil temp, if it goes into the pan, then I can just basically remove that and then um, put a drain. Uh, like if I have, you know, let's say like a 12 an and it kind of just reduces down to that i don't think i'll have a problem because the other way i did the vq that motor's gone was i put that excessive plate in between the pan and that to get more oil capacity um but i'm just afraid how more it lowers down to the floor so what i think what i'm gonna do is go ahead and um check that out and see if that you know goes into the galley and um that should give me adequate draining but we'll see. That's going to be my, my, as I'm on the car. So, all right then. All right. So, went ahead, got the pivot for it on. Got that on with my um, nice and silent throwout bearing. <sighs> kind of, well, I mean, I just changed it. But, you know, it's just one of those things. But at least, you know, grease up this shaft a little bit just so it, you know, slides good. Um, that's what presses onto the back of the, um, what's that thing called? Oh, good Jesus. 
or it presses onto the um i'm saying the back because <laughs> this is the back but this presses onto the front of the pressure plate um so anyhow uh, that's what we got there so yeah i don't know it's pretty simple for it. all right so i got her turned around <laughs> but i just spilled her guts a little bit she still got some reserves reserved um oil in there but basically i pulled this out and it probably looks like maybe like a 5 16 fitting or something i don't know um so with that being said what the hell oh my daughter but anyways with that being said like if i use this as a drain um maybe i can build like a box or some type of reservoir that will sit there and then just gravity feed into there. I don't know. Or maybe, you know, something slid up here. Like, as long as I, you know, kind of create more piping. It's going to be difficult here because I got the belt running. But I'm just trying to avoid opening up more shit and doing whatever. Um, so, I don't know. I'm Because, remember, the other one was draining down into here. Which, you know, it's way below the the oil line. So... I don't know. I'm a. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna drain to that, just like how it is. There's some maybe with extending the pipe, um, but then you know expanding the, the opening up, and then see how that works. And maybe I can get away with that. I don't have to worry about you know it not draining enough. If I do have, you know, draining issues, I could always come back and, re, you know, do that. But that's what I'm gonna do. Fuck the bullshit. All right. Let me see if I can get this whore turned around and get them to get married. <sighs> so I now pronounce you VHR and VQ. Or, sorry, DE. <laughs> yeah, so I got it all lined up. I got the bottom bolts um, lined up. Again, when I modified this, there's only one bolt on the bottom, which uh, doesn't necessarily touch. So I have that. I have my fork. And um, I went and I just JB welded this. I'm just going to cap it um, and then put on, well, yeah, I didn't know if possibly the other temp sensor had different values. So I just switched over. Um, also because I, it's the same, like, one that plugs in. I don't know if it might have changed. And I don't have to feel like, you know, having to swap out plugs. So she's married. Um, realistically, she's ready to go in. Uh like I said, that was the only thing I needed to address in the back. I'm going to just put a rubber cap over it, similar like what I did on, you know, the other, you know, setup. But um, she's ready to go in. Just two things to note. Um, since this doesn't have a pipe running on this side, uh, this is going to go to one firewall. This is going to go to the other firewall. This one was already there from before. And then now that I have this guy here, I actually should be able to use that as the um, the the bleeder instead of having that external one that I had up high to to bleed it out um, until I get in the car. Um, you know, I really should know. I believe I should be able to, but then again, you do have this one that comes kind of high to where I don't know if that might trap an air bubble back here. You know, um, but whichever, we'll see. So I mean, I'm I'm ready to go in, guys. That's uh, that shit looks beautiful. That should be my wallpaper cover, yeah, with all that bullshit in the back. But I just can't wait to get this in the car, and then kind of you know focus on just you know getting that. I don't really care to like really start it and stuff. I wanna uh, get my boy shit going. Um, but even with this, it's just gonna be you know the drain, sorry, drain, wire up, um, sensors like whatever. And then, you know, just the intake to figure out what I'm going to do with that. But we're going along as we're going. At least we made it up to this far. Once this baby's in and sitting where it should be and everything's good, um, the, the only, you know, possible scenario is that this guy hits the firewall. Um, but remember that other DE manifold came out like this far. And so hopefully. But if not, we may have to do something to the mounts. Um yeah i think what i would have to do if i needed to slide this motor forward would be to extend this mount and then basically bring this channel on that side but then that would might have 
you know bring it a little too forward to where the transmission or I mean the drive shaft would be you know a thing and then I was thinking uh, I don't know unless maybe if I do move it over I cut that down to, to let that pass and then this one I just block it I don't know we'll see because remember I already had cut these and slid this back so essentially that means the motor was you know slide forward that's where you see these old welds there um, so I cut that out and I slid this back as I, far as I could but touching that so that might be another possibility if I need to slide it forward some more and I have enough drive shaft length to slide it let's say um, a quarter of an inch um, you know I think going over you know that about an inch is a little too much but we'll see as we um, go forward so all right guys